Good day everybody. Welcome to my latest video on YouTube and thank you for watching my YouTube video. YouTube is doing a campaign called Dear Me. This campaign is mostly for women, but I'm sure guys can do this too. Dear Me is a campaign to kind of tell your future self what to expect. It's mostly for Women's Day coming up, but I want to do my own Dear Me. And this Dear Me is going to be a little twisted. It's not going to be like the other Dear Me videos you've seen online. This might get a little emotional and deep. So I'm going to tell five things to expect to my younger self from 25 years ago. I'm 28 now, and this will be a video my myself when I was three years old, three years old would watch. And you know, a lot of kids can't understand a lot of things at three years old, but if I was three, three years old and I was watching this YouTube video on my future self, these are five things you're gonna expect before you get to my 28th birthday. I'm 28 years old now, so here are five things to expect. One, expect to be abused expect to go through a very painful divorce between your mother and your father when you're about eight nine ten years old and then expect to be abused by other siblings your father their siblings friends and it's more than name calling you're going to be kicked you're going to be punched you're going to be hit at you're going to be tied up to chairs you're going to be sitting at a dining room table with a video camera trained on you while the rest of the family is out doing fun things you're going to be sleeping on the dining room floor because your father can't trust you. You're going to get starved. You're going to sit at the dining room table for absolutely no reason while other, your other siblings are doing fun things. You're going to be bored. You're going to get emotional. But get, you'll survive. You'll get out of that situation and tr try to repair your life. Number two, expect to be bullied. Expect to be building by your siblings, by their friends, by other classmates in school. From the time you enter school all the way time to the time you graduate high school, you're going to be bullied by a lot of kids. And they're going to be name calling you. They're going to be calling you bad things. They're going to be hitting you. They're going to be punching you. They're going to make fun of you. They're going to try to run you down and hit you and beat you up. You're going to be bullied by a lot, a lot of kids throughout the 10 different schools you go to. And your, your relatives are going to try to take you to these special autistic schools. But even there, some kids will bully you too. But get through, just survive and try to get through the bullying. The best advice to you is talk to the teachers. Teach You can have a great conversation with teachers during or after class. That's how I survived school. Number three, expect to be rejected. You're going to be rejected from a lot of things throughout your childhood and up until adulthood today. You're going to be rejected for colleges, schools. You're going to be rejected from thousands and thousands of job opportunities. You're going to be rejected from people who think you can help you, but they're going to backstab you in the back instead. You're going to be rejected by other siblings, by your friends, by teachers, by other adults. You're going to feel rejected because a lot of people are going to try to reject you or take advantage of you. Heck, some people will try to call cops on you simply because you're walking down the side of the road. People are going to feel threatened about you. They're going to feel scared about you. And some people are going to try to do any means necessary to get you off the street and put you in jail or some group home. Even though you're being rejected by a lot of people, there will be some people who see value in you, who see opportunity in you. There's not going to be that many people. There'll be some. Just hook up with those people throughout your childhood and you'll, you'll try to improve your life up to my point today. Number four, expect to live in extreme poverty. You're going to struggle once you graduate from high school and try to live out on your own. No one's going to want to hire you. You're going to apply to thousands of places from the time you graduate high school to today and no one's going to give you a shot. So that means you're going to be so extremely low on money, you're literally going to have a dollar left in your bank account. So you need to find a way to feed yourself and maybe try to clothe yourself and to get the basic things you need to survive. Try to take somebody else's pair of shoes. Try to sew up holes in your clothing. Try to sew up the big hole in your backpack. 
try to keep your computer going for as long as you can. You're going to be going through a lot of poverty from your childhood up to today. And the reason why you have to go through the poverty is because people won't give you a shot and you're going to feel pretty down. A lot of people are going to make fun of you and laugh at you. So try not to feel let down and try to do anything you can to make a little money. Try to hook up one of the few friends you have to see if you can build a website for them. Or do yard work for them or something. Well, 20 bucks can go a long way. Number five, expect to be depressed. You're going to be rejected. You're going to be bullied. You're going to feel down. You're going to have people reject you. You're going to be abused. You're going to go through so much crap in your life that you're going to feel depressed and you're going to feel down. Any small thing could set you off because you have gone through so many more negative things than positive things, the negative severely outweighs the positive. You're going to try to be positive at times where good things are happening, but not a lot of good things happen in your, in your childhood. So you're going to feel a lot more depressed and let down. But try to think positive. Try. One of the things I would encourage you to do is get your road drawing road habit better. You will get better at it. Drawing roads is probably the one thing that could get you off the depressed state and thinking about something else when your day is going pretty bad. Another thing I would encourage you is watch your favorite TV shows, play computer games, cook, or drive around a little bit to get your the bad things out of your mind. There's things, there are a few things that will get you your depressed state back to your happy mood, but you gotta have to do that, and you're gonna have to do that often because you're gonna be rejected and feel let down quite a bit while growing up. So there you go. Those are five things I would tell my future self when I was three years old. If I was three years old now watching this video, you're going to think to yourself, wow, my life's going to be crap. Well, I've lived through it. Yeah, it has been somewhat pretty bad, but there are a few good things you can hook up to, but expect a lot of hard times while growing up to my future, to my younger self. You're going to go through a lot of tough things while growing up, and I hope you can get to survive, at least get to adulthood, and you can try to make things better. Thank you all for watching my video, and you all have a great day. Thank you.